Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So in this video, I achieved another another little milestone, I suppose you could say, um, from 160 kg squats last time that I did my squats. I was uh, I did this one at 170 kg. So it felt so good last time at 160 that it made sense to me to add 10 kgs and really not mess around i think after 170 kg and also actually i should say after doing this session i felt okay now next sessions uh, my weights are going to be more challenging uh, 170 might be uh, manageable but 180 would be a big jump but that thought came to me only when i did the set of 170 kg not before that there is no need i think to plan so much in ahead but retrospectively i think that's what i have thought like i'll go with five kg increments so the warm-up went very well i have mentioned in my video before that this business of facing forward and walking the bar forward before the start of the squat uh, is a new thing for me and uh, that is not so much of an issue is walking backwards to place the bar back is sometimes it could be concern and it could be a safety issue so i don't think i'll continue doing this for too long and uh, it's been a bit of a little battle i have recently with my lower back pain or i should say sacroiliac joint si joint pain on my left side and i can sort of see that when i'm at my bottom position i'm favoring one side a little bit more i don't want to go too much into analysis and uh, give myself more reason to not do squats you know um, and so sort of take it easy the pain uh, comes during the start of the warm-up sessions it intensifies and then i think adrenaline takes over and i don't feel the pain I, I, that's for sure when it is time to for me to do my working sets so i was going nice and smooth i think i'm uh, sort of happy with my depth here i think the angle doesn't do the justice i think many of you might quite easily would say that it is shallow and i have no problems but my depth the one that i want to achieve is just below parallel and that means that the top of patella which means the middle and the middle part of the kneecap should be above just above your hip crease just where the edge of the belt is above my my lines of my shorts i suppose that's when i when you squat that pound should be lower than my top of my kneecap and that is the standard that i've learned from starting strength i have learned everything whatever i've done is from them this i believe is 170 kg now it's coming up so felt good the rack could be a little better but overall uh, uh, there are a lot of things I think of post my sessions that how slight small things could be better. And that could be things like what was the squat, squat rack like? Was there anyone in front of me? <laughs> and uh, yeah, all sorts of things. So this is indeed uh, 170 kg. As you can see on the left, it says 170 kg coming up. It's because uh, I'm doing live videos and uh there's hardly anyone watching here we go the fifth rep i think i'm pretty okay with that yes and i have a bit of a grunt as well so there you go oh, okay that was fourth nice nice indeed yeah. this walking back as you can see is the the issue uh, i think uh, as it gets heavier i would not prefer to not know which do not see where I'm placing the bar. Although, as you can see, the pins on which the bar is resting right now is they are long. There's actually safety pins. So I've taken care of that. 
I would not be loading the bar pack on a small hook, the J hook. So around this time, um, and by this time I mean trying to get to 200 kg, I mean that I've done 200 kg before. Uh, I have covered that in several videos. Uh, for a variety of reasons, I was not able to lift heavy for six, seven months. I'm getting very tired after my sets, as you can see. So that is something that I need to look into how I maintain my work capacity in a way that I'm not wasted for my second sets. I think this one was all right, 150 kg, 20 kg lesser uh, was sort of a good choice. I could not see myself doing 170 kg again. Uh, that's another thing which plays with my mind that I want to do three sets of five of the same weight. Uh, for me, that is my gold standard. And I say it gold standard, it is because that is how I started my strength journey. And that three sets of five is a standard from uh, programming standard from starting strength. I uh, did a wonderful program called Novice Linear Progression. It is the most simple and basic way to get strong. And uh, I absolutely like to keep things simple. So this was not too bad, 150 kg. Looking back, it's nice composed control. Yes, so three sets of five. I wish I could do that with 170 kg, uh, but not at this point. I'm just happy that I started I restarted my journey at 130 kg and it's been five, six weeks that I've been adding 10 kg each week and it's been good. Um, it, it's a bit slow uh, it's because I have other lifts as well that I do and I will be posting them as well. I do squats as you know. I do. So this is 130 kg. Uh, squats, deadlifts, bench press and overhead press. Again, these four lifts for me are the major and they come from Again, starting strength programming. So 150 kg moved well. I, 130, I should say, sorry. Uh, I just kept going lighter each set. But I uh, will post some links at the top for my other videos if you're interested to watch how I started not long ago. What was my 130, 140 kg video like or 150? I hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. And if you're enjoying it, please click like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.